Racism is just stupid to begin with, but when people say that he looked like a thug because he was wearing a hoodie, that's just when you get, like, how the fuck does someone wearing a comfortable article of clothing make them a threat? How does that mean it's okay to kill them because they decided to wear a very, very common, like, I swear to God, every single human being, no, okay, every single person in this sort of country, these kind of countries, has at least one fucking hoodie. I have multiple hoodies, and, you know, the, the hood up even is another thing. I have my hood up because this is how I normally sit. <laughs> I fucking love having my hoodie up. Like, I will literally have my thing, like, if it's warm, I will have my sleeves roll scrunched up, and I will have it open if it's warm, but I will keep the hood up just because it's comfy as fuck. And also, I have GED, so it's accessory different, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, it's just, I also, okay... I found this hoodie at Walmart, and it was on sale, and it had a huge, like, the hood is actually really big, but I'm wearing a hair, my hair's up, so it's actually being pulled up here with my hair. If anyone who has a longer hair and has their hair in a ponytail, you know it loses head, hood size. Huge pockets, and comfy and soft and everything else. So I bought one, was wearing it, like, every day, and then I bought one in every color after that. So, I fucking love hoodies. I wear hoodies whenever I can. So... And it's something that everyone fucking loves to wear. And, like, you're not feeling well. Put a hoodie on. It makes everything all better. And how the fuck is a symbol of comfort, in my opinion... A hoodie is not a symbol of threat. It's a symbol of comfort became a symbol of threatening. I'm sorry, but the, the whole... Okay, if you look at the design of a hoodie. It's kind of baggy. It's got a big hood to keep your head warm and cozy and make you feel like you're wrapped up in a blanket. It's got great big pockets you can stick your hands in, and it's like those, like, things they used to have, like, the tubes and the cold and whatever, and it's just, it's soft and comfy, and it's like wearing a blanket with sleeves, pockets, and a hood. Yeah, I almost said snuggy. Anyways, um, I don't understand how it be can become something when worn makes someone look at them and is like, oh, they're gonna murder somebody. To me, when I'm seeing someone wearing a hoodie, they're like, they just want to be comfy, because, fuck, have you ever worn a hoodie? Hoodies are fucking comfortable as fuck. <laughs> yes, I swear a lot. Anyways. Like, I was just thinking about this the other day, and, yeah, I'm taking off the hood so you can actually see my face now. Um, I was thinking about this the other day, because I, I was walking downtown with my hood up, my sleeves, because it's so nice and warm now. Anyways, it's like five degrees. It's so warm. Celsius. Americans, because we are, we are metric up here. Anyways, so I had my, you know, the unzipped with the sleeve scrunched up and my hood up, and I was getting weird looks, and then for some reason my brain related to that, and I was thinking, like, but I'm a white girl, so of course nobody's gonna think I've just robbed a bank or something if I, even if I was running and I had my hood up or whatever else, I could be wearing a black hoodie. I mean, my, one of the other ones, I have, this type of hoodie I have in different colors is black. Actually, the first one I bought was black. Anyways, um, it doesn't really matter because, and also I'm in Canada, so there's, there is racism in Canada. Believe me, there is racism in Canada, but we're not, we, our police don't shoot down black kids because they're wearing hoodies. So, basically, I just don't understand, like, I don't understand victim blaming for clothes to begin with when it comes to rape, but I just, I can sort of see the flawed logic in the whole, like, well, she was dressed sexy, which is not a, a fucking reason. No, fuck off. But, like, it's related, at least. Like, she's dressed sexy, so this person wants to have sex with her, so he's gonna ignore the fact that there's a person. Anyways, but dressed in something that is extraordinarily comfortable, when did that become threatening? I would think some, if I saw someone in a hood, like, if I, like, hoodie and sweatpants type deal, I'm like, oh, a person has a cold, or, oh, a person's a student that had, to, especially when they're young, a person's a student that's, like, fucking giving up on looking good because they're just so tired from all the fucking schoolwork and whatever else. To me, I feel like the hoodie, especially this hoodie with sweatpants, which, I mean, if you're wearing baggy pants, it's harder to tell if you're wearing sweatpants or other types of pants. That's, like, the symbol of, like, I just want to be comfortable right now because I'm having shit happen right now, so I just want to be comfy. So, maybe, I know I've asked this question like 10 billion times at the beginning of this video, but I'd like to, if you have, because I've actually started checking the comments on my videos again, anyways, if you actually have some sort of explanation how a hoodie be, can be anything but a symbol of comfort and how the fuck it turned into a symbol of, oh, it's on a black person, they're a hoodlum, 
hood, hoodie, and I guess I could, I don't know. Anyways, uh, they're a freaking thug, they just robbed a liquor store, or whatever the hell bullshit like that, like, I'm sorry, when have you ever worn a hoodie to do that? And sure, I see lots of black people wearing hoodies, but you know who else I see lots of wearing hoodies? Literally everyone else! Everyone fucking wears hoodies, like I said. Find me someone who, in this sort of fashion type thing, because I know ultra, other cultures have different, but in this sort of culture that I'm talking about, find me someone who does not own one hoodie. And I will find you someone who's fucking lying. Or at the very least, everyone's ho maybe they don't own one currently, but some everyone has owned a hoodie at some point in their teenage adult life. I swear to fucking god, if it, I I think it's pretty much impossible. Because even the super fashion person who never wear like baggy clothes have a fucking hoodie for when they're at home and watching freaking shit on Netflix in their PJs. Cause sorry, but comfiness is important and hoodies are awesome they got giant pockets where you can stuff shit in there maybe that's how they got the fucking thing because oh i could be hiding the gun or i could be hiding the money i just stole but no me i'm putting my sunglasses i actually i had a coke can that i finished and i was nowhere near a garbage can so i just shoved it in my hoodie pocket and then like four hours later i'm like why is this in my pocket it's an empty coke can <laughs> And I sometimes if I can manage it, my fair, I try, I've been trying to get her to ride in my hoodie, but it hasn't worked. So I'm going to go back to browsing Tumblr with my hood up. Thanks for watching.